Have you ever come to your Facebook page and you type in your URL only to find that there's no image? And the workaround was to upload an image, but you could only do that in your Facebook business page. You can't really do that on a personal page. Well, I found a workaround so that when you go ahead and you type in a URL to put these great images with my website, and I'm going to show you how to do that in Serif Web Plus. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is simply go into Insert HTML Fragment and you put it up here, actually you put it right on the website. The fragment that I have for these images to show is over here on the left, but this is just an example. This is a dummy text. And if I double click on it, it's going to open up and show me that I can paste these to, I'm going to want to paste it to the head. And what code do I put in there? Well, first of all, you want, it's called an open graph meta tag code. And I've put in red all of the pieces that you're going to want to put in. The first one is going to be your website title. The second is the type, which is a website. The third is the content, so this is going to be your special page. For this exercise, I'm doing a web page that's focused on uh, book websites for authors. The next one is uploading your image. Now you can do this a couple of ways. Either you can upload the images into your own control panel, or you can use a program like Photobucket. Photobucket allows you to put photographs, upload them, and get the link. You'd copy and paste the URL right in here from Photobucket or from uploading it into your Midface hosting. The next one is your meta description. Your snappy description of this web page would go here. The next one is your website URL, the main website. And then this Facebook admin number, this is kind of a tricky part. How do you find that? You go out to this findmyfacebookid.com and enter your personal Facebook profile URL that you find on Facebook and then look up the numeric ID. Once you find that, you just simply copy and paste it into this code. And then you take this whole smash and you just copy and paste it to the head and click OK. And then go ahead and save it. You file, publish, publish to web, and you find this developers.facebook.com forward slash tools forward slash debug forward slash og forward slash object put in your URL and then fetch new scrape information and it will tell you if you're good to go and in this case we are good to go so I'm going to do this on every page of my website for gotclicks.biz and I suggest you do the same so that it's easy for people to share your pages up on Facebook or other social media. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and happy clicking.